So hello, this video is going to be a little bit different because I got some very interesting rocks from Tymek. Uh, he found them in an abandoned uranium mine in Poland and he uh, sent me those rocks to analyze. So big thanks to him. Uh, he's also from my Polish Discord. So yeah, let's open them. So there's this one big heavy rock and it's very shiny, has metallic luster it's probably Galena, I would say we're, we are going to perform some more in-depth uh, tests later but I'm just, you know, showing you what he sent me there's also some this white rock with grey gray spots and I think this is uh, probably calcite with some limestone or dolostone or a dolomite and the rest of the rocks is pretty much the same it's mostly dolostone with some green spots and uh, you know white veins that are probably dolos uh, dolomite or calcite there's some white stuff and al also this metallic uh, stuff which is probably also galena since he also found this in the same mine and uh, yeah that's that's all of it so yeah, that's uh, quite a bit. So the main question is, is there any uranium in this? Because uh, that's actually what he wanted me to check. Because I have a Geiger Hunter and uh, he just didn't want to buy one because they're, yeah, they are expensive. So yeah, I'm going to check if they're radioactive at all. Yeah, we'll determine what kind of rocks are these. So here's my Geiger counter, you've probably seen it if, if you watched my videos. I drilled the holes so the radiation can be detected uh, more easily. So yeah, I'm going to turn it on, let it run for a bit. So the background here is about 0 10 microsieverts per hour. Let's see if the, these rocks are any radioactive. Uh, so, as you can see, there is absolutely no mm, radiation increase. It's it's pretty stable at uh, 0 0.20 or 0 0.10. You know, in that range, it's pretty normal. If it was like 0 0.30 or 0 0.40, well, I would call it mildly radioactive. In comparison, I'm going to show you what an actual radioactive mineral is like uh, so yeah it measured the average dose and it's 0 0.0 uh, I mean 0 0.13 microsieverts per hour and it's you know pretty standard uh, measurement so this this is autonite uh, it's actually meta autonite it's on the only difference between autonite and meta autonite is that uh, meta autonite has uh, much less water it just forms a lower hydrate. I showed you this mineral a couple times. I showed it on Reddit. I showed it on YouTube. Uh, it's quite free. It's very nice fluorescence, uh, and it is actually quite radioactive. Yeah, and it gets up to like five mi microsieverts in the box, and I'm not going to open the box because there is quite a bit of disgusting radioactive dust there. These rocks are probably not radioactive, but that doesn't mean there is absolutely no uranium in the mine. So maybe let's first check the hardness. So I have a glass jar here and you might say that this kind of looks like quartz. Well, it does. It has, uh, you know, it's quite shiny. Well, not, not, it's not very shiny, but it's white, okay? It, it might be quartz, so it's better to check whether whether it's uh, hard enough to scratch glass. Because, I, as you may know, uh, quartz has a hardness of 7 and it does scratch glass. But, this does not scratch glass, so it's definitely not quartz. I'm going to, you know, do a comparison. So I got a piece of quartz here, and let's scratch it. And yeah, it definitely made a mark. 
definitely scratch the glass. You can definitely see the scratch right here. So it's not quartz. That's settled then. Probably a useful, useful determination to tell whether it's uh, dolomite or calcite is uh, checking it with dilute hydrochloric acid. So calcite uh, does react quite vigorously with hydrochloric acid. Uh, but dolomite, not so much. I mean, it's still a carbonate, uh, calcium ma uh, magnesium carbonate, but it reacts much less vigorously. So I mixed up some hydrochloric acid solution. It's I didn't measure actually the concentration because it's not really necessary right now. Uh, it, concentration does not really matter, although for mineral determination, like 5 to 10 percent is usually used. Okay, so let's check it. So there's no reaction. Well, there is probably a reaction, but no apparent reaction. So I'm pretty sure it's a dolomite. I'm just going to compare it to calcite. So this is calcite. So yeah, let's drop it. a piece of hydrochloric and a drop of hydrochloric acid right here. And it reacts. You can see how it fizzes. Oh yeah. It reacts very vigorously, releasing carbon dioxide and also producing calcium chloride. So I'm just going to dry it off. So this what is this? It's basically dolomite and also dolomite. This bra black matrix, well it's actually grey, is probably dolostone, which is a, a rock equivalent of dolomite. The formation of this rock probably dates, dates to Triassic. And what about this one? Well, this one has actually some mineralization. I'm going to show you exactly what is on this rock under the microscope. But it's, you know, at first glance it's just a normal dollar stone, nothing much. This one has a little bit of galena and quite a bit of this uh, white mineral which I suspect to be some kind of uh, lead salt. It might be lead carbonate, so sericite. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Sericite or uh, anglesite. So lead sulfate or lead carbonate. Uh, and, and there's definitely some galena, which is, you know, lead sulfate, sul sulfide in this. So yeah, just let's just make sure that this is galena and not anything else. So I'm going to run some tests on this and then I'm going to show you the microscope uh, footage. So here I have some uh, a piece of uh, aluminum oxide porcelain, which is very hard and it's very good for testing the streak of minerals. And streak is quite actually a useful feature of minerals, which is able to tell you what you actually, what what mineral is it? So let let's check the galena, right? So you can see that is it has black to grayish uh, streak, and that actually checks out. So yeah. So now let's check the hardness. So here is calcite. Calcite has three on the Moses scale. And let's check if Galena is harder or softer. So, it's softer. So this means it's in the range of 1 to 2.5. I was not able to scratch the Galena with my nails. So this means it's 2.5. And this is exactly what Galena's hardness is. So and our thing checks out. So the luster is, as I already said, it's metallic. 
and it also has triangular cleavage which means it breaks off in these kind of cubes oh yeah you can definitely see here that it has these kind of cubes it's more apparent in the micro under the microscope oh yeah here you can see that it forms these kind of cubes so just to be 100% sure we're going to check the density of uh, this mineral and you know calcul calculating the density is pretty simple you just have to have the mass of this mineral and also the volume of the mineral also another property of galena is that if you drop uh, hydrochloric acid on it it will produce hydrogen sulfide which is uh, you know quite a stinky chemical it smells like rotten eggs but I don't think I'm going to do this test because it also produces uh, toxic lead chloride and I don't really want to deal with it and if I check the density I will be sure that it's galena anyway so yeah let's just get down to the density so first let's check the mass so we can see how heavy it actually is you can't really tell that from the video but you can definitely tell that from the mass it's very dense so 144.04 let's write that down so now let's measure the density so as you can see I tied up the rock in, uh, in a string so I can submerge it but not all the way down uh, let's let's turn on the scale. Oh my God, it's spinning. Okay, it's nineteen point seven nineteen seventy four. Okay, nineteen point seventy four. So yeah, let's do some math. Divided by nineteen point seventy four, and it comes out perfectly seven point two nine uh, something 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 grams per cubic centimeter, and that's exactly the density of Galena. Well. It can range from, I think, 7.2 to 7.6 or something like that. So it's within the range. And that confirms that we have a very nice chunk of galena. So now let's look at some microscope foliage. So you can definitely see that here is some kind of uh, green mineral. And it actually might be some kind of uranium mineral. And the rest of the white stuff is probably anglesite or maybe sericite. Not really sure. Can't, can't really tell in the small scale. I can't really do any uh, other tests because it's just way too small. So uh, this, uh, well, it's kind of a bad picture. But you can definitely see the green stuff which is in my opinion maybe some kind of copper salt or actually uranium salt although we were not detecting any radiation uh, there still might be some uranium salts because you know maybe they were just there was just very little of them and we could not detect it because the so there's again some of that uranium mineral and there's some actually weird black it's like a round black speck not sure what it is but it does look interesting so yeah I think that that really concludes the video and uh, if you liked it just leave a like if you didn't then leave a dislike and that's it see you next time see you next time